another video walk on the wild side and i'm here in blackpool and in this video i want to check out the starlings at the north pier yes yeah, so i'm here in blackpool looking down the tram tracks there to the south you see the tower there i'm just by the metropole hotel yeah i'm up here look at this light it's about four o'clock for about half an hour before sunset and what i thought i'd do is i'd come out and I'd see what the starlings are doing by the North Pier because we get some cracking displays of starlings the murmurations this time of year, the winter time when, when all the starlings they migrated down from the uh, uh, Scandinavia and places like that and we get some cracking displays with the murmurations so that's what I thought I'd do but yeah, just look at this light, isn't it amazing? Look, look over there. Amazing sunlight. And here's a metropole. Uh, yeah, the metropole is closed, of course. I think most of you know why it's closed. Closed to the public. Very grand hotel. There's been a hotel on that site there since I think it was 1776 it started as Bailey's it was Bailey's Hotel now one of the first hotels in Blackpool and eventually became the uh, the Metropole and you see all this promenade that we've got here this is called Prince's Parade and this was all developed back in I think it was 19 it was about 1910 or 11 or something like that it was all built up because on the other side of the metropole hotel on this side there wasn't really anywhere to walk i think they had like a walkway like a bridge or something around it so what they had to do was they had to fill all this in here with loads and loads of sand that they'd got from the beach they brought it in on a special train you see the um where the uh Cenotaph is they had tracks that came down down here where a special train brought all the the stuff the sand and everything that they had to build all this area up here but anyway here's a look round and look at this here we've got the um that that uh, motif there on there 1912 and by the way there's a doorway in there by the way it's all been sort of closed off years ago but i do believe that there was a murder in there during the war years underneath the metropole but yeah i think it was an american service person that that did the murder yeah that was back in i can't remember but anyway it was it was certainly during the second world war so anyway we'll just look down here we've had a little look at princess parade look at these fancy um fancy lamps here right? Aren't they fancy? Anyway, let's have a look out here. I'll tell you what, it is so clear today. Look at this. You can see the sun going down over there. Hopefully we'll be able to see the starlings soon. And as we look this way, we can see the... Um, we can see the Lake District. Look at that. Amazing. Someone's waving at me from the window up there, look. <laughs> I think someone was waving at me. There you go, I've got fans in the Metropole. How about that there? Eh? There you go. Anyway, let's head towards the North Pier. That red brick of the Metropole looks absolutely awesome in this low sunlight, doesn't it? But I just want to show you something up here. A couple of blue plaques. I have showed them before, but some of you might not have seen them. There's the one that tells you about Princess Parade, or should I say Princess Parade there. Princess Parade isn't it not Princess and there's another one over here that tells us about uh, Bailey's Hotel 1776 Bailey's Hotel stood right here and of course the Metropole was run by Butlins from around about 1900 to 1950 and I think it was taken over by, so taken over by Pontins after that. I think, yeah. So there you go, old cinema over there, the one, two, three, four. Massive building that. 
that's pot world now. Anyway, let's head towards the North Pier and see if we get a show from the Starlings. Just look at this. Isn't it amazing? Look at the light down here on the lower promenade. Isn't it amazing? And they've got these benches all the way across there. Can you see down there? Loads of space to sit and watch the sunset here in Blackpool. And now we're just by the North Pier. Let's have a look at the North Pier, shall we? I can see a boat coming in over there to uh, to Haitian. There you go, the North Pier, folks. Can't see any starlings at the moment, but uh, they will be here soon. I'm pretty sure. Now the North Pier is one of the best places in the whole of the UK to see starlings murmurating. It is absolutely awesome when there's thousands, it can be tens of thousands of starlings murmurating around this pier. They go around the other piers as well, Central Pier and South Pier and um, St Anne's Pier as well. So it's not the only place they do it, but the North Pier, because it's the biggest pier and it's got the most roosting place, the, the most places underneath for them to roost, that's why they tend to be really spectacular over here. Yeah, it's absolutely insane. And sometimes just watching them come in from the town centre, you, you can watch them fly over the buildings coming in in big clouds it's absolutely amazing to see that i'm a little bit early for the starlings yet so what i thought i'd do is i'd just pan around just to show you all the way around just look at this where better to see the sunset than here in blackpool west is best the best sunsets in the world. Well, we've got a little cloud of starlings here, up there. Can you see that there? A couple of hundred starlings there. It's a start. I think we need a few more though. It's about quarter past four now. Well, I'll tell you what, they're building up now. Can you see that? They're all flying around and collecting up. The little clouds are coming together. Oh, we need a few more though. Oh my goodness, we just had a massive cloud come over from the town centre. They just seem to come from nowhere. There are thousands of starlings right there now at the end of the North Pier. They're all collected right at the end around the Joe Longthorne Theatre. Just look at this now. I don't know if you can see this, but I'll put you on the, the telephoto shot from the other camera. It looks absolutely spectacular. That is amazing. And if I look back this way towards the Metropole, we can see, can you see that cloud? I don't know if you can see that up there now, but we've got another, oh, this is amazing. Another big cloud of starlings coming in. Can you see that? That is incredible and they're all flying over and they're going to join up with all these down here. Wow, that is spectacular that is. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. What a show. This is amazing free show here in Blackpool. Just look at this. Look at that, folks. That is incredible. Look at that. That is amazing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> look how many there are. I've not seen that many for a long time. That is insane. Look at them all. How do you count those? Oh, wow. Oh my goodness, there's another big cloud coming over now. Look at this. Oh, I've not seen this many starlings here for a long time. There wasn't this many last year. This is absolutely insane. How about this for a free show here in Blackpool? Amazing. A, a free natural show 
that is absolutely insane just look at all those starlings there wow i think that there must be oh my god it doesn't end look at this now oh my god look at that there must be in my guess and i'm no good at counting birds but i reckon we're probably looking at 30 40,000 I might be underestimating there but this is insane this is one of the best displays I've seen here for a long time well those murmurations were absolutely incredible we even saw them land on the beach as well absolutely amazing they're getting lower and lower and lower that's a, the way they tend to work they tend to keep swirling around and around and around and eventually they get lower and lower and then they swoop down underneath the pier and they sit on the the girders yeah amazing this is one of the best i've ever seen here at the north pier well how about that absolutely amazing i reckon there was about fifty thousand starlings there they just kept coming and coming big massive clouds coming over from the town centre there, absolutely amazing. And they all join up into one big massive murmuration around Blackpool, North Pier, the best place in the UK, I reckon, to see this amazing free show. Anyway, Blackpool Tower is starting to light up now. It's getting a bit dark now. Time to go home, just like the Starlings. Anyway, I hope you like this video. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I will see you again on the next one.